Hey, I'm Eman Rules Films, and I'll be showing you how to use an Xbox 360 controller as a mouse via Joy2 Key. First, what you're going to want to do is download Joy2 Key and have your Xbox 360 controller ready. The Joy2 Key site looks like this. And I'll have a link in the description for this download button right here. So click on that and download it. And then you'll have to go into your downloads or whatever file you downloaded it into. And then I'll this right here. And if you open it, there's this folder, and in there's the application and all that. When you save the folder from that download button, that's what downloads it. So, you're going to want to right click on that, go down to the extract all, and set where you want to extract it to. Well, then you go to the folder that you extracted it to. For me, it's the exact same name, just it's an open folder and it isn't zipped. So you'll want to go to uh, go to that. Then there's another folder. Open that. Hmm, my 360 controllers a little jumpy. Well, then you have the README, the Joy to the Joy2 key and the Joy2 key application. Now, if you didn't have the Xbox 360 controller plugged in right now, you would click on this and it would say cannot find direct X6 controller something like that, but it won't open the program. So, right now Grab your wired Xbox 360 controller or one of the lower end, um, what would you call them? Remakes, maybe? You know, like the Joy Tech and all those. I think there's three different companies that make Xbox 360 controllers. They're just not Xbox 360 by Microsoft controllers. So then you'll want to open up the application and it will pop up a window like this. My controller is a little touchy. so. But instead of it having this mouse program as the very first one, it will have something called I think first controller but you don't want it to be that you'll because it doesn't have all the things you need for the joystick to work and for the joystick to move and all that so in the first um, controller click on that and then go over to this tab over here on others click that You'll want to set the number of joysticks to two or one, but two, it seems to make it run a little faster. And then the emulation method, just put it as default. If you don't, it doesn't do anything different. It just messes around with the setting up of the controller. Then use Axis is other than X and Y, you'll want that, and then use POV switches, which are like your D-pad switches. Um, and then threshold for input, put it at 10%. It makes it a bit better for accuracy, but not exactly the best for moving it around, so you'll have to play around with that a while. After you do that, click create, then it asks you to name it, but I already have one, so I'm going to just click cancel. 
Um, I'm gonna have to make this next part quick. I only have three, give or take a minute, left. So, once you have it like this, it's gonna be just blank. Everything will say disabled. Everything, including um, that unless you changed it. And then you'll want to come up and to set them you'll just select it, left click on it, and then right click on it to get this menu. Configure this button. And then if you're wanting to use this uh, this button which in this case it's um, the joystick on the left hand side if you want to use it as a button um, you can go to keyboard and then change it to a button but I'm using it as a mouse the scroll on the left so you'll do that then click OK and then it sets it now if I come down here to buttons my first button which is the A button is F9 so I'll uh, configure it and then right now it automatically took me to keyboard but if I wanted the A button for some reason to be I don't know left click or something then I'd click on that and then it would make it a left click but I don't want it to be that so then click OK and it sets it at what you put it as but since I just unset it it doesn't do anything now I could click on it a million times and nothing will happen so I'm gonna have the link to download joy to key in the description and then this simple mouse it pretty much makes your right joystick how to move how you move your mouse and then all the different buttons and how they are in order and all that. I might even make a second video that has all the pictures with all the buttons and all the axes and all that. But that might be a bit out of the way. I might just give you this. But so that's pretty much it. Um if you have any questions um like if this program won't download or you don't know how to extract it or anything like that give me a message on youtube or i put my youtube um email not the one i made this account on but the one I use for you questions on my channel so you can go over there check it out see about sending me a message and if you want have a question about this down here or how I made my computer like this even the mouse um just ask me and I'll probably ma be making a video on it here soon so that's the basics to making an Xbox 360 controller work as your mouse.